Hello, fellow Rosarians. Many of you are getting your bare root roses now and you're worried about uh, the temperature. Uh, can you put them in the ground? It's freezing where you are, or maybe you have a scheduling conflict and you can't put them in the ground uh, right after they arrive. And so you're wondering what you do. So I wanted to share with you what I found about healing in a rose. And when those roses come to you, they're dormant. Uh, roses do not need nutrients or fertilizer for at least 10 days. Um, that would be the max. And what you wanna do is soak them for 24 hours. After you're done soaking, then you're gonna be looking to heal them in. Um, you'll see articles online where they're healing them in, in the ground. And I don't understand that because if the ground isn't frozen and you can heal them in in the ground, why not just plant them? But um, if, if you want to go ahead and heal them into the ground, you're just gonna take all of your roses and cuddle them up together. They get a 45 degree angle, and then you're gonna go ahead and cover them with soil. My preference, if I'm gonna heal them in, it's because I can't go outside for some reason to put them in the ground, I'm gonna heal them in in a pot. So I'd like to show you how to do that. Now, if you'll remember, I got my roses a couple of days ago from Regan and they're monsters. Um, so I'm gonna to try to see how many I can fit in here together. And let's pretend that they're not coming out of dormancy because as soon as the roses start coming out of dormancy, if they're healed in, you're gonna to want to get them in the ground as soon as possible because they're waking up and you don't want their roots to be tangling around each other. So all you're gonna to need to do is, I've put soil in here, grab whatever pot that you have you're gonna go ahead and put your roses in here together and kind of like how they were in the, um, the box when they came to you, you're just gonna put them in as closely uh, together as you can. So that's what I'm going to do here. You're not worried about any fertilizers because you don't want to wake them up and get them growing. You really want them just to stay dormant. So after you heal them in here, you're going to Put them in a shady spot. Don't bring them inside, whatever you do. If you bring them inside, that's going to force them to break dormancy also. So the intent of this is just to keep them asleep as long as possible um, so that you can um, get a little bit more time before they need to go into the ground. So I'm gonna put one more in here. So this is just a standard grow pot and I've been able to fit in one, two, three, four, five, six roses. Okay, and so then all you need to do is just backfill it. You're gonna take your soil and backfill it in here. Once you get it completely backfilled, okay, you're gonna bring the soil up as high as you can. These babies will be fine just staying in their pot until you're ready to put them in. The other thing that I do that I wanted to share with you is um, when you are, you've got your pots for winter, um, and it can be your, um, your perennials, your trees, anything in pots. What I do is I take all of my pots and bring them together. And then what I do is I take bags of mulch, bags of soil, and I stack these around my pots for more insulation. So you can certainly do this also while you're buying yourself some time until you can get your roses in the ground. Um, but this is how you heal in a rose. So I hope this was, video was helpful. Um, don't get stressed out in the event that your roses arrive and you can't put them in the ground right away. Just consider healing them in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.